Hey guys, this is Rob D here, and I know I haven't been making a video in quite a while now, so I decided to make a video on the Xperia Neo on how to install the Ice Bean 3.0 B ROM, which has recently came out, and I just decided to install it since I got bored of my old ROM, which was the Jelly Dream 3.0. I think it's a really good ROM, but you know I just got bored of it, and since I unlocked my bootloader and all that crap, I. I I'm able to install many ROMs, as many ROMs as I want. Not as many ROMs, but you know, I can install a variety of ROMs. So I decided to install this ROM since it looked quite cool and the features he had to offer was really good. So what you would need is a, I think it will work with any Xperia Neo device, Xperia 2011 device. Also, um, you would need to have, if you're unlocked on an unlocked bootloader, get a kernel which has any D support. If you, this will work with locks bootloaded as well so uh, don't worry about that also make sure you download both the files and you put it in your phone which is the device stabilizer and the the ROM on log bootloaders you need to download the device stabilizer the the ROM and any D support file which you flash with CWM so on log bootloaders the ROM device stabilizers lock bootloader device sta stabilizer the ROM and the in D support so yeah also if you're an Xperia Neo make sure you in flash the custom firmware which is the Xperia Neo V firmware I'll give some links and instructions descriptions how to do that that is just purely because uh, it gives you more RAM and all of that and don't be worried about this uh, your phone will function and all of that you just need to do that so your phone works like no, it doesn't work but the ROMs will work because most of the time if you don't and just using the default one your phone will just uh, get a it will just get bricked so let's get started just power on just power off your device and go to clockwork mode recovery so sorry about the mistakes I'm making I don't know what the hell's wrong with me so just power on to clockwork mode recovery and I'm not reading over this video so I might be a bit off so go into clockwork mode recovery it's uh, you just press the turn it off and just turn it on and keep on pressing the down key on your phone the down volume key that is so yeah it shouldn't take too long I don't know why it's taking me ages and uh, sorry about the bad webcam quality guys I mean if I had a better camera I would have used that but or I would use my phone one as I've shown you but I can't since I'm installing the stuff on my phone so yeah it should be coming up to clock mode recovery any minute second now and yep it'll be coming up any minute now come on and yeah there you go alright first what you need to do is a factory reset that's gonna be the fourth option in your Clockwork mode recovery. Your clockwork mode recovery might look different. I'm just using the Alliance kernel, so it looks like that. Some clockwork mode recovery, they all look the same, like the the layout, but some of them have different designs. So I just focus the camera there. It's yeah, it's underneath. Apply SD card update. So you factory just click on the factory reset and choose yes. This will delete all of your data. You can make sure you make a clockwork mode recovery backup first, just to be safe. But usually when your phone gets bricked, I can't access Clockwork Mode Recovery, so I just flash the firmware on it again. But yeah, it, it doesn't take too long to do all of that. So after you have done that, you just wipe your cache partitions. So you go all the way down, underneath Factory Reset, you say wipe cache partitions. Also, uh, a, f a thing that I forgot to mention is to wipe Dalvik cache. Just go to advanced and click wipe Dalvik cache. I didn't record it here. I don't know what happened then. But after you do that, you, you have to go to um, mount and storage and then do format system. So click mount and storage and near the bottom, the third to last option, I believe it is mount uh, format system. So click that. and this will just delete the data on your phone it doesn't delete anything from your memory card so it's just going to format after you have done that we're going to format the data which is on top of format uh, what do you call it um, format system 
hour before that, uh, uh, just gonna format the cache first, I don't know why. Um, yeah, we'll go format the cache first, then format the data. Don't get that mixed up, but I think it really doesn't matter. Just make sure you format the cache, and now we're gonna format the data. They're all in, they're all next to each other, so you won't get that confused. So you can say format data, just press the home screen button, and yeah, just let it do it. Doesn't take too long, as I said, it's really quick. Alright, after you've done that, go back to the main screen of Procore Mode Recovery and choose and choose choose zip to install from SD card, which is the second one, and click choose zip from SD card. Uh, it was apply update from SD card, so you know it's the second option. Then you search for it on your phone, uh, wherever you saved it. Make sure you do have it on your phone, or you're gonna have to you know connect it to somebody else's phone and put the file in on your memory card. So it should be called uh, I. Been 3.0 arc. I know it says arc, but trust me, it will still work. So just click it and choose yes to install it. It takes three minutes. And it is an aroma installer, so uh, you just be patient. Make make sure that your phone has enough battery for this. But pretty sure 30% battery will be alright. So it's just loading up the files, as you can see. There's, there is a status bar underneath if you want to check how fast it's going. And again guys, I'm sorry for the bad quality and the mistakes I'm making. I mean the camera, I can't do anything about at the moment, but the mistakes I'm making, I don't know what I can do. I'll just try and be as clear and fluent as I can. So and I'm just gonna go on to the bit where it's finished and there you go it's gonna say done in nice writing like that looks quite epic now just click choose zip from SD card again you'll be already on it just press your home screen button and now you're gonna install the device stabilizer which is right at the bottom so choose that and it's gonna open a aroma installer you, so you just follow the instructions the aroma gives so it's just loading up here so after this if you're on a locked bootloader make sure that you install the init d support files or if you're on a locked bootloader and your kernel doesn't support it or you're on the stock kernel make sure after this you flash the init d support so you're gonna have to choose a device now they have uh, all the devices there except for the Xperia Ray I believe so I, I'm on the Xperia Neo so just choose that even if you have the if you flash the Xperia Neo, Neo V on your Xperia Neo just choose Xperia Neo, tr Neo trust me you're gonna get camera issues if you don't do that so click next and then install so yeah as I said if you have locked or unlocked boot, if you have a locked or unlocked bootloader and your kernel doesn't support any D on your locked bootloader it, the default kernel doesn't support any D you're gonna have to flash it after this so reboot the device and flash it I'll give a link to the forum instructions as well so it's quite straightforward as well so just let you do that it's, and it's just gonna stop now and this is the moment of truth uh, if your phone doesn't turn on it's just this black for a while that means your phone's bricked I'll post the instructions in the description on how to unbreak your device but it's going to be ex I'm going to put the link for the Xperia Neo firmware and Neo V but I'll come for the other ones I'll put an alternative link so if this is the ice cream sandwich boot up animation if you get this then you know the ROM has, is working and just give it about 5 minutes to load up it doesn't take too long I just skipped uh, cut the B out where I was waiting in the video So it's gonna come to the Android setup now. As you can see, you just it's it's quite straightforward. I mean you must have seen this like once you know when you buy the phone. So just choose your language and go through it. And as you can see at the top some really nice battery status. I love that. I just wanted to point that out as you can see. So I'm just gonna install it now and skip the bit where I'm installing not installing but you know saying yeah. So once it has done, it'll just click finished. I'll give you a sneak preview of the ROM on how it's supposed to be looking like. So you know, yay, it's finished. 
so you don't have to be worried now if it's installed like this you should be quite happy so the it just loaded up extremely quick as you can see most problems take a while and this one just loaded up really nicely and as you can see I think uh, there's no this it's just the normal sliding animation when you go through it and it's really fluid and fast in the options menu all the icons have changed uh, the icons look really nice and it's really fast to be honest guys I mean when I was switching through the apps it's freaking quick it's probably the best app best ROM I've used when I was switching through the apps and as you can see I'm just checking in my eyes but messing about with bomb is not so yeah thanks for watching please subscribe hopefully this has helped you and i would recommend this from bye